Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 52 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there you can see we have the RC circuit, right? The quantity R and C is given. It also gives you root mean squared voltage. So we write it as VRMS, 120 volts, and it's a frequency, 60 hertz. First one ask you what is the RMS current. So this one is find the current at root mean square. So very straightforward, we can consider this current RMS equal to V RMS over Z. Z is called impedance for the RC circuit. And then RC circuit we can get the Z impedance in this equation. C R is resistance, X C capacitance. So you can get it by using 1 over 2 pi Fc, right? Input this Xc inside, you get the equation for Z, look like this one. Now you can see in this equation, we can input Z in the current equation there. And then we look at it, it looks like this one. Input all the given quantity, you can get the answer there. It's very simple. The second one, Get it, what is the phase angle between the voltage and the current? So we look at this uh, circuit. We have R and C. We say R will not bring the phase change, right? Well, no, no bring phase angle. The only one bring phase angle is capacitance. And capacitance legs the current by 90 degrees, right? So this one, we say legs, so the angle is negative Xc. Right, this is the legs. Now we can see we input capacitance Xc inside the equation. Look like this one, and then we input all the given quantities F C R. Get answer there. The next one is what is the power consumed by the circuit? So easy, just very straightforward. Use the RMS root mean squared current squared times R. This is R squared times R, right? And the input the quantity, get the answer there. Next one, what is the voltmeter readings across the R and C? So for this case, uh, this one, the voltmeter reading is just as a root mean square voltage, right? So it looks like we need to find the root mean square voltages for R, root mean square voltages for C. So very straightforward, the root mean squared voltage for R uses the current root mean square times the R. R is resistance, so you get answer there. Similarly, you can get a root mean squared voltage for C as the current root mean squared times the capacitance Xc input Xc inside. You get an equation, look like this one, and input a given quantity, get answer there. Thank you.